Hello my friends and welcome back to The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. In our last video it was harpies, harpies, and more harpies. Both a guy dressing up like a harpy I think and us killing lots and lots of harpies. We are still in the harpy lair but at the end of the last video we did manage to complete the harpy contract and the queen harpy contract so I have both of those items to turn into Cecil Burden. We are still currently working on hunting magic and I have to find dreams and then figure out which one is the most powerful one. And I have my magical dream projector here that I can use once I find the dreams. And, and I, I kind of want to finish exploring the harpy lair. I, th I think it's just this area that's left. Uh, find all the dreams and then come back and kind of watch them all at once and figure out which one's the strongest. And that's that's all I got for today. That's all, I mean, and I imagine we're gonna do more than just that, but that's all I have right now. <laughs> I did have to drop a bunch of items because I'm almost too full. And I imagine there's gonna be harpies and other loot and things and stuff that I can pick up while I finish this last little, little bit. Oh, um, hello. You know, I thought that with your queen dead and all your nests gone, that I would not have to attack any more of you. Or, uh, be attacked by any more of you. Let me save because normally after I pick up a dream, I think, that's when more harpies spawn. Yes. I'm right. Protection. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, let's get this one dead. Before we move on to the next one. Oh, oh. oh come on. Alright, get out of here. Get out of here, Geralt. You're going sign on. It is it is yeah, it is come on, it is coin sign, right? Why? I just really don't like harpies. Let's see, anything else? I should have one more loot. Oh, I think, oh, it's back here. That's right. Okay, so that's that section. That little dead end done. Let's go work on the other two. Save. Got this one here. And you have oh, 19 pounds. Um, sure, I'll pick it up. I've already dropped one. Oh, here it is. So we'll pick up another one and see if I can get to keep this one to, to sell. The Kedwani armor is technically, I think like the armor is better stats. Oh wow, there's, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. Set you guys on fire. I think that the armor is technically higher than what I'm wearing, but the stats aren't. And I still have that armor from the succubus that is in the same situation where the armor rating is better, but the stats are not, I don't think. I think it's partially because I keep um, upgrading the armor that I have on right now. So I need to investigate if I upgrade the other armor is it technically better <laughs> so it's a little bit of min maxing that I really don't like to do in games but we'll we'll if I find if need be it's an option I can explore but I haven't really needed that just yet I don't think okay so is this the last loop and then this is where I came in at okay the last dead end I mean, this is probably gonna be the hardest, maybe? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Let's try to get some space and throw a bomb and Quensign. You know, Carol, if you're too old for it, we could just retire. Get some new witchers in. I don't know how that works. I feel like it's not that simple. Whoa. 
You could just... Oh, the other one just burned. <laughs> well, that was convenient. Oh, okay. Let's just double... No, take off, please. No. Click, then spacebar. Okay. Now, let's put this away. I think we've cleared all the areas. Well, let's double check. Because this is where I came in originally. Okay. So, that's my loot I dropped. Okay, let's save again. And let's see how this use projector works. Let those drink we already watched. Let's try the... We'll, we'll go top down this time. Silver crystal first. By the gods, they're closer and closer. They'll not catch me. They'll not find it there, over my dead body. Horses, you'll never fathom Master Baltimore's secrets. It's not far now. Huh, is someone dreaming about a murder? Baltimore, didn't we meet at Baltimore in town? Anyway, green crystal. You're as beautiful as an elf, my lady. Come to me, my hero. Let's fuck in the barn. Ah, oh, the luck. To think I wanted to play dice with the others. Call them too. It'll be lovely. Uh, um... <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing. A peasant's dream. Okay. <laughs> Red crystal. That's... Is it a dragon? That was from way back in the prologue when we were running across a bridge with the king when he was alive to escape the dragon. Yeah. I was right. Okay, last one. Blue crystal. I wish it had like English subtitles. Well, I'm guessing one of those has to be strong enough, right? Okay. Hunting magic, new quest phase. I've got oh, I leveled up! Yay! <laughs> and then I've got I've got new things. Let's see. Hunting magic is done. Let's see. It says. The Witcher cast a net into the sea of dreams and fished out the very one he needed. A dream stolen from a dragon could contain enough magic to be useful to Philippa. Geralt had found had found another ingredient to Saskia's cure. Okay, so then we also have a new quest, Baltimore's Nightmare. Find Baltimore's house in Vergen. Geralt witnessed various wonders in the Harpy's Nest. Among others, he saw the dream of Baltimore, a dwarf who had once lived in Vergen. I thought I met a Baltimore. Baltimore was now dead, his dream in which he was running in terror having become a reality. Before the Witcher would discover that, he, however, would have to find the dwarf's house. Huh. Oh, I need to go turn in where is Triss Marigold. Um, let's go do that. But anyway, it looks like I'm done here, so I'm going to make the 
long trek back to town and we'll meet you there once I have arrived. <laughs> And here we are back in Philippa Eilhart's quarters, house, cabin, cave, one of, one of those, <laughs> to turn in the quest, where is Tris Marigold? And yeah, let's, let's just turn that in. <laughs> you wanted to discuss something? Yes. I have Tris's bandana. I've got Tris's bandana. Have you learned anything? Tris was here. Letho forced her to teleport. Why would he? There are easier ways to travel. Two of Letho's comrades, probably those responsible for Demoven's death, were hiding among the Scoyatel. When it became evident in Flotsam that the Kingslayer wanted to dispose of Yorvith, the Scoyatel leader gave the order to eliminate them. Letho had to reach the unit before the Elven messengers did. He could only do that by teleporting. I assumed that Triss wanted to teleport to me, but she missed the mark and they ended up in the gullies. What happened next? Letho left her in a gully, wounded. He probably thought that she'd diversify the local troll's diet. He himself <laughs> went to see the elves and massacred the unit with his comrades. They're somewhere on the other side of the fog. What about Triss? She escaped from the troll. Everything suggests she's somewhere in the area. I can assure you she is not in Vergen. She has to be here. Locate her. I'll try, but it will take some time. Have you learned anything else? Uh, let's see. Sheila ordered Letho to end Triss killed. Sheila ordered Letho and Triss killed. I can't believe that. Believe it. I ran into some mercenaries she enlisted to kill Letho and anyone found with him. She must have meant the other Kingslayers. Are you sure she knew Triss was with him? Are you so sure of Sheila? There was something going on between her and Triss. I sensed a lot of tension. Mm -hmm. A misunderstanding. Maybe. Let's find Triss and clear everything up. I need some time. What's going on out there? Let's see. What's going on? The peasants want to take Pitchfox to King Demoven's son. Why? The Dragonslayer's servant is spreading rumors that Stennis poisoned Saskia. The commoners are in an uproar. They want to dispense justice. Where's the prince? Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. A fight is inevitable. Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. Hmm. I don't... I don't like people like Stennis. It was only a matter of time. I... I mean... I don't know. I don't know Sinus well enough to know if I like or dislike him. He seems like a noble, but uh, let's go with it was only a matter of time instead. Dogs growl at cats. Cats hiss at the dogs. A noble's a wolf to a peasant. Forget those animalistic similes and take care of it. I'll try to locate Triss. <laughs> and should anything happen to Prince Stennis, remember, we need his blood. I remember. Well, we'll just poke him and get his blood that way, right? Can I? I mean, it should be that easy, right? <laughs> okay, so the update for where is Triss Marigold? Uh, the Witcher gave the scarf to Philippa, but the search for Triss had to wait. Friendship is all fine and dandy, but politics was always more important to Philippa. At that time, the Redanian sorceress put all her effort into the attempts to curse Saskia, and no one can blame her for that. So then I have Royal Blood update. It says, well, then my Royal Blood, I have to stop the peasants from lynching the prince. So the blood coursing through the veins of Stennis, son of Demoven, was royal without a doubt. When a messenger arrived bearing news of a riot in front of the prince's abode, Philippa dispatched Geralt there immediately. Peasants recruited into the army were accusing Stennis of poisoning Saskia and threatening to lynch him in no time. Right. So there was no time to lose. <laughs> so let's see, do I have any updates based off coming back here? Probably not. Oh, and we do. Baltimore. Oh, the dwarf. I could have sworn I ran into this dwarf. But maybe I'm confusing 
I must be confusing something. Anyway, having spent some time in Vergen, I'd heard much about this famous runesmith, master. Oh, he was the one who died. We talked to his apprentice. Now it makes more sense. Anyway, I'd heard much about this, the famous runesmith, Master Baltimore, whom the local dwarves revered. Mastering the profession in question requires practice over scores of years, and runes cast into weapons or tools supposedly grant them unusual properties. We did not meet Master Baltimore, however, as he had disappeared several years before the events described herein. Yet his handiwork was and is still reputed to be the pinnacle of the difficult art of forging runic signs. I think that's it. Let's check our glossary. And then monsters. I don't think I have any monsters, but let's save. Now, I had planned on turning in that Triss Marigold quest uh, quite some time ago, and that's when this whole auto thing started, and I, I didn't want to do that. So that's why I've had to. Uh, there's been a lot of trial and error. If you turn in a quest too early or you do something wrong in the wrong order, it pushes you in a direction, and I'm trying to find out which direction. Like, I'm trying to make sure that I don't miss an opportunity to do anything. So that's why I've been kind of doing a quest and then not turning it in right away because it leads to something else. So if you're wondering, that is why. But anyway, we are gonna work on Royal Blood right now because I think it should be safe to do so. And it looks like I have to go all the way down here. So let me level up again and meet you there. The commoners claim it's our prince's doing. Such judgment is above their station. I believe it's Hensel's provocation. He wants to drive a wedge between us. But he's on the other side of the fog. How is that possible? Okay, uh, I'm guessing this is where I need to go because there's large groups of people just gathering around. But let's save and hopefully not have too many conversations at once. Oh, a magnifying glass and money. Sure, I'll take that. Sir, the lodge will never be on the same side. Wraith Humans Solomus only care how their asses rise as their stations do. They're playing into Hensel's hands. If they start the at each other's throats, the we'll have to face the that entire might of Kedwin alone. You How can't it? mix water As with fire. I see fire. Like I see. Could. Guilt must be you see what they did to her. Otherwise, it's vigilante justice. I'll grant you that, Reimster. Okay, uh, two conversations at once. That's so annoying. <laughs> you guys can't talk separately. Hello? Anything going on? Geralt! It's good to see you. The commoners claim Stannis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. Uh-oh. Um, nobody's maintaining order? Nobody to keep things peaceful. Scale and Burden and his dwarves are trying to contain the mob, but they're badly outnumbered. The plebs will yell a lot, beat someone up, and go home. As peasants do. That would be foolish. They're not serfs anymore. The days of them humbly sowing and reaping are gone. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Skill and Balden. I keep order and Vergen. Or doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorvath! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons! I don't care if you're a serf or a lord! I'll kill you all if need be. What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olgan poisoned Saskia. We want justice. You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rushed to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them. You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass? We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat. Where's this servant? Safe. The Squirtel keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! <laughs> we need to act quickly. Huh? 
you know, he's probably hiding in his house because he doesn't want to face an angry mob, maybe, who's going to give him mob justice, which doesn't always pan out so well. So, uh, well, let's go with what's your plan, Yorveth. <laughs> what's your plan? I'll frighten them a little, bleed them if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. Mm. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Oh, no. Humans only care how their asses rise as his stations do. They're playing into Hensel's hands. The if they start at each other's throats, we'll have to face the entire might of Cadwin alone. Each other's you can't mix water with fire. This is nonsense. What would the could. prince gain with the And you see what death? they did to her? I can tell you what he lost with her life. Power. As I see it, every princeling likes to scheme. Guilt must be proven. Otherwise, it's vigilante justice. Oh my gosh, it's the I'm same conversation <laughs> again. Okay, let's save. So, uh, luckily, Yorveth was faster than Geralt and managed to subdue the excited mob before any blood was shed. Yet the peasants were still furious. Left to their own devices, they would sooner or later force their way into Stennis's house. The Witcher decided to see if the accusation of poisoning was were justified. The accusation of poisoning were justified. Okay. Uh, he began talking to those gathered in the square and also went inside to speak with the prince. So talk to those gathered in the square. You don't have much time. And apparently, I, it sounds the like I can't has talk a to everybody. Things. Good. So, Bloody bastard poisoned the virgin. Um, well, let's talk to the dwarves, I guess, here. Can we have a word? Why not? I'm Ogden, a founder. I cast mugs, plates, chalices... You need any, Witcher? No, thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork? It is. Made it back in Mayor Farragut's time. Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times, and what happened? Nothing. Because they're steel. My goblets are indestructible, impervious to both the fury of sovereigns and servants who are all thumbs. <laughs> Saskia's chalice was new. Aye, it was. Back in Mayor Farragut's day, I venture Saskia was no more than an etching of Da's britches. <laughs> um, anything unusual about the goblet? Unusual about the goblet. Was the order for a normal goblet? Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. But I wanted it looking downright regal, worthy of our Saskia. The other chalices were not ornamented on the inside? Of course not. Okay, well, who commissioned the goblet? Who ordered the goblet from you? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Vergen to pay tribute to Saskia. I got the honor of casting and presenting it to a lovely leader. Hmm. The lass liked it so much, she's not used any other vessel since she received it. Yeah, is there any chance that two identical goblets were produced? Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Vergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? Ha! I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken elf. Thorax, his name. Huh. Okay. See you at the inn. We'll grab a beer. Serfs and lords will never be on the same side. Hmm. Humans only care you how don't their asses rise as okay. stations. You guys keep the same thing over and over. Oh, I've got a new quest too. Okay. So it says the craftsmen claimed that the people of Vergen adored Saskia. Their love was so great that they had a beautifully adorned goblet fashioned for the dragon slayer. The dwarf so highly lauded the quality of the adornments inside the goblet that Geralt had a terrible thought someone could have placed the poison within the goblet and not in the wine Saskia had consumed. Because then they would be for sure only poison her. So my new quest is Suspect Thorak. After talking to the creator of the goblet, which had been a gift from... He suspected that the original goblet had been replaced with another containing the poison. Thorak was the only artisan in Vergen capable of replicating the original and thus producing the goblet used to poison the dragon slayer. Okay. 
Let's see. They're save. playing into Henselt's hands. If they start at each other's okay. throats, we'll have to face the entire might of Kevin. Say, Witcher, power. come over here. Camp Rolling Mix water down, with fire. Sally dog. I sask you a curse. Say, Witcher, That's come over here. Um, I know it's clear, but it's for your hog-smelling woman. Lovely. This is nonsense. What would the prince gain with the virgin's death? I could tell you what he lost with her life. Power. As I see it, every princeling likes to scheme. Guilt must be proven. Otherwise, it's vigilante justice. I'll grant you that, Reimster. Give us this whole power! Roll in dung, you surly dog! All right, so many repeated conversations going on over and over again. Uh, this guy Peter wants to talk to me, but let's talk to the peasants who say that this servant told them about it. I feel like that's important. Why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven hovel. Those witches be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pouch. He better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once done with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets. Throwing their weight about too much they are. Um, what is this really all about? What's it really all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. We don't need no one backing us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler, the Virgin of Eden. It's not certain she'll live. Yeah. Then we'll choose another who will manage, but he must be one of us lads. That way he'll understand us. And all people is gonna be equal, our way. And the non-humans? We have enough dung on the fields. Let non-humans find a non-human land. Get away with them. I don't like you guys. I'm just putting that out there. You seem a little... Is racist the right word? I don't know. Speciest? Speciest, I think, maybe? <laughs> Did the prince have access to the wine cellar? That's, that's a good question. The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth, then? Yeah. The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to him. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. So, yeah, you know this servant, the one who's saying the prince poisoned Saskia. You know Saskia's servant? Willy of the Oblates. He, he handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like a sister and mother put together. He'd gladly get quartered for her. Where's this Willy of yours? Hiding in his shack, afraid <laughs> of them lords. Squirrels guard him. Hmm, I thought you ever said that Farewell. you need to find him. Give us this whole power! Rolling dung, you Okay, so I have dog. another new quest. Um, so royal blood. Get more opinions, you don't have much time. I don't know if I can. So the nobility had their opinion, the peasants theirs. The man accused by the nobility was not guilty. They blamed Stennis for poisoning Saskia as the peasant movements initiated by the dragon slayer were not to his liking. Okay, and then my next quest is the Walls Have Ears. You may remember that Geralt had been trying to ascertain who had poisoned Saskia, the Dragon Slayer. One trail led him to a serf who had easy access to Saskia's chambers and could have bribed could have been bribed by the assassins. Well, the Scoyotel had been shadowing him closely. They were merely waiting for him to reveal his treachery. Yorveth was receiving reports of his every move. Okay, well, I found out the hard way, having to reload, that I can't talk to anybody else. <laughs> so we have two quests that we're gonna follow up on regarding this poisoning or accusation of poisoning. Uh, we'll start with a suspect Thorak. I have relocated over by where the quest marker is telling me to go. Let's see what happens. Oh, Baltimore's nightmare. Ooh. But I don't want to do that right now, game. I want to do suspect Thorak. We'll, we'll look at that later. So we need to talk to Thorak. Oh, here you are. Welcome, Witcher, to my humble home. Hi. I'm looking for a dwarf by the name of Baltimore. Does he live here? Master Baltimore vanished some time ago. Okay, we'll, at, like I said, we'll do that one later. So let's ask about Saskia's goblet first. Anyone order an exquisitely adorned goblet from you? 
I get the occasional commission for tableware, sure. But what exactly are you talking about? Saskia's goblet. Was that your handiwork? That ugly bucket! Uh -uh. Did you intend to offend me? Whoever made that thing should be whipped! I certainly hope Saskia orders her vessels for me next time. If she gets a chance to order anything again... Okay, um... Wait for events to unfold. All right. Um, I'll look at Baltimore's nightmare in a second. Probably after we talk to these people. These other people. So let's see, the walls of yours. This is the peasant suspect. They're all the way down there. Which isn't as far away as I think it is, usually. But let me figure out how to get there and I'll meet you there. <laughs> they say someone cast a spell. And the virgin fell as if dead. Could be. Sorcerers are a plague of the worst kind. Hang them all by the balls and let them swing. Well, that's not very... Okay. I guess you're entitled to your own opinion. But we are right by where we need to go for the walls have ears. And I think the name of the guy was... Which I don't know who it is. So let's just start talking to people. There goes the piece, eh? Squirrels. Keep Witches. moving. Okay, moving. The gods are wise. Get used to it. Lady Saskia will defeat Henselt and make Vergen her capital. You don't know that. But she could grant us market. Oh, yeah, I've heard this one before. Or should I you shit for brains, uh, all well, of let's you. Talk to... You'll soon meet the Axlancy market, right? People, get a hold of yourselves. Just pray we survive this war. I appreciate all the side conversation, but I'm trying to solve a mystery here. Me anyway. I think his name is Willie? Willie Oblet. I've been looking for you. I don't know you. You caused quite a commotion. Afraid of something? No, nothing. You're lying. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. Didn't say nothing, don't know nothing, and didn't see nothing. <laughs> okay, uh, let's use our art sign, I think, right? Tell me everything you know about the attempt on Saskia's life. I heard the priest talking with the prince. This goody-goody said the virgin is really a beast under her fair skin. What priest? Olcan, the one killed. So there's no way I can check if you're lying. I swear on my mother's grave I speak the truth. What else did you hear? Tell me. Um, I was put in Saskia's room in order when the priest came to the prince's chamber next door. It wasn't speaking loud, but I heard the priest say... Just clear the servants from the kitchen. Nothing more. Reverend Olkan, only he could tell you how it was. Beginning to end. The dead aren't very talkative. Yeah. What about what they leave behind? There may be clues or some such. Oh. Maybe. What hey, should face. I use? Axie Eyes hex. like embers. Not a Raise his hand and point a finger at them. Okay. Let's go away from all the chatty Cathy's over here. Fell as if dead. Oh, much better. So let's see. The servant from Saskia's quarters implicated the priest named Olken. I feel like we had some like kind of group conversation with him ages ago with the prince um, that I probably left in a video. Anyway, off on a tangent. So implicate the priest named Olken as someone who could have been involved in Saskia's poisoning, though the priest was already dead, having suffered a memorable accident on the cursed battlefield. Oh no, different priest. His home could still be searched. Since the alderman Cecil Burden knew everyone in Bergen, the Witcher went to ask him where the divine servant had lived. What's this update? Geralt found the allegedly bribed peasant and convinced him to talk. The serf had not only a loose tongue, but also keen ears. He had he had heard Stennis talking to Olken, the priest he favored. He even remembered one sentence, just call the servants out of the kitchen, nothing more. Hmm. I mean, that's not like a guilty sign, but it's not a very good one. Okay, well, let me backtrack my way up to Cecil's house and I'll meet you there again when I arrive. And here we are at Cecil's house. I figure while we're here, if I can, I can also turn the harpy quest, but we'll see how that goes. They lie in wait for their lord and prince. Humans are an odd lot. Mm. I certainly hope Scalen can clean up this mess. What can I do for you, Witcher? Hmm. Okay, um, I destroyed the harpy nests. Were you looking to get rid of the harpies? Aye, the flying rot. I've destroyed their nests. 
They won't be returning anytime soon. That's what I want to hear. You deserve a reward. I do. The Harpy contract is completed. Yay! Oh, no, no, don't go anywhere. Uh, let's do... Uh, let, let's do the Harpy Queen. I hope that doesn't screw up. Job done. I'm here for my pay. You killed the Harpy Queen. In that case, you've earned your coin. Yay! I'm getting more money. I don't know how much, but thank you. And now let's do the walls have ears. So where did Reverend Olkin live? I need to know where Reverend Olkin used to live. Hmm. Simple. Let me show you on the map. It's about right here. Okay, thanks. See you, Governor. Okay, so... Oh, it's all the way... Oh, it's all the way over by the market? That doesn't make sense. But I'll go look for it. And then when I arrive, I'll meet you there. <laughs> it's just one of those days, apparently. All right, well, after turning in the quest to Cecil Burden, I was going through my bags and had a bunch of trophies that I wanted to get rid of, which I did do while I was making my way down to the Reverend's house. I then also noticed that I could equip trophies and certain trophies have certain uh, extra benefits. And I put on the, what is it? The Althon's trophy, which has extra damage signs and that sorts of things. But I seem to be wearing <laughs> this on my nose now. Welcome to Virgin. <laughs> Which I thought was unbelievably hilarious. I'm not going to wear it. Uh, I'm going to go back to using the Wraith trophy that I was carrying around or that I was equipping earlier um, because I just, I can't wear <laughs> that. But I just, I never knew that was a thing uh, at all. <laughs> But anyway, um, now it looks like we are outside the Reverend's house, so I'll save again for like my 50th time today, and we'll go inside. I just thought that was so funny. Cause you get, like, strange aura. A strange nose and a strange aura, apparently. Oh, let's search. Nothing interesting. Well, then why is your Witcher senses picking that up? Olkan's notes. Wait for events to unfold. Okay, well, let's read these notes first. Oh, it's the design for the cup, it looks like. Huh. Wait for events to unfold. Well, in the meantime, let's double check. My quest journal. So in Olgan's room, Geralt found a set of plans for a goblet identical to the one Saskia had used during the council. The designs clearly implicated Olkan as an accessory to Saskia's poisoning, yet they did not solve the mystery as a whole. Geralt's investigation was still open, so he decided to continue his search for clues. He went to talk to Vergen's inhabitants. So all of these need to wait for events to unfold. That's odd. Um, but let's work on Baltimore's nightmare, I guess, instead, <laughs> since that seems active. So we need to go and discuss Baltimore with the dwarves at the anvil. So I'm going to head back over there again, <laughs> and I will meet you there. It's just, like I said, it's just one of those days. Okay, here we are back with the dwarves by the anvil, and the quest said I need to go talk to them, but the update that I was given was that Geralt found the building from the dream. It looked like a workshop. He was about to enter it when he noticed some craftsmen working at anvils nearby. The wizard decided that if anyone knew anything about Baltimore's fate, these dwarves would. So let's talk to this guy, Thorak, again. Welcome, witcher, to my humble home. I'm looking for a dwarf by the name of Baltimore. Does he live here? Master Baltimore vanished some time ago. Yes, who was Master Baltimore? Who was Master Baltimore? He was our runesmith, the greatest specialist the world has ever seen. A lot of water has flowed down the pond tar since he disappeared. Yet me and my apprentices still can't recreate all the runes he could inscribe. Hmm. Uh, well, who lives here now? Who lives here now? Yours truly. As Baltimore's best apprentice, I became the new runesmith. Got this house, along with the honor of continuing the great master's work. Can you tell me something about that moldy door? That's the entrance to Baltimore's old workshop. Mind if I take a look? 
Not at all. Only you won't find anything but scrap metal and cobwebs. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, the door over there. All right. It says Geralt was right. The building from the dream had indeed been Baltimore's old workshop. His former home stood right next to it and was now occupied by a dwarf named Thorek, Bergen's new rune master. The Witcher learned that its former owner had vanished without a trace years ago and was considered dead. The story intrigued Geralt. He knew Baltimore had been living in fear, so he suspected there might be a secret behind the dwarf's disappearance. He decided to investigate and started by conducting a thorough search of the abandoned workshop of the former rune master who had experienced the terrible nightmare. Okay. We can go do that. So we come into this door, I believe. And... Just regular stuff, it looks like. A lot of ore. Is there something over here? There's something like in there. Oh, I see. So hang on. Uh, control Ard. No one heard that, apparently. <laughs> And then, Baltimore's directions, Baltimore's key. Start looking at the well where loud echoes dwell. Take 10 paces towards the river, walk left and do not shiver. Meager two, ten, two tens of paces past the gate in my good graces. That one that our safety keeps, go where the crossroad patron sleeps. Every road you need to take it, the middle one is safe. Hear and look for Ingrin's signs and you'll follow my designs. Should you choose to go right, you'll soon see someone in plight. At noon, this drowned soul points its shadow at your goal. What? What? Oh my goodness, it appears that the dwarves tend to hide maps and keys in old furnaces. Geralt cleared the soot from his discovery, and the curious Thorak did not voice a single objection to his destruction of the furnace. The note was written in elder speech, a, langu oops, a language which the, El the Witcher knew, of course. It said, and I read it already, um, Geralt knew that an Ingrin sign is a symbol of the patron of guides, shaped like a circle with a line traced from it. The line always points to shelter. So I need to follow the clues for Balsamore's notes. So it started off at a well, right? Start looking at the well where loud echoes dwell. Hmm. I heard the rumble, Witcher. Everything all right? Yeah, just some rubble. Find anything? Um. Hmm. No, nothing interesting. Not a thing. Poor Baltimore lost his mind before his death and must have destroyed all his notes. Why are you so sure he's dead? You didn't find a body. Maybe he just departed. Well, if he departed, he's as good as dead to us. A decent dwarf don't leave his settlement. Tell me, why are you so interested in Baltimore? Yeah, just curious. Curiosity, nothing more. Curiosity can be dangerous. It's led many a man astray. Are you threatening me? On the contrary. It's more of a warning. See ya. <laughs> okay. That was very suspicious. Geralt understood that Thorak was only feigning indifference and in reality was very interested in his search. The dwarf was not to the Witcher's liking. Our hero decided to continue his investigation while keeping an eye on Thorak. First, he deciphered the notes. Yeah, I already did that, didn't I? Like, I read them. And there wasn't much else to do. I need to find a well. A well. 
Hmm. Um. Hmm. Let me go wandering around and looking for this well. And if I find it, <laughs> I'll, I'll meet you there. Eh? All right, so I have been winding around for a little bit, I think. And I, the closest thing I found to a well is this right here. So we're going to start here and see what happens. So I found the well, and it says I need to take 10 paces towards the river. And the river is in this general direction. So one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll just round up. <laughs> and then it says, walk left and do not shiver a meager two tens of paces past the gate in my good graces. So go left. Oh, there's the gate. Oh, it's just a flower. Past the gate in my good graces. Um... Then what did it say again? Go where the the one that in our safety keeps go where the crossroad patron sleeps. Crossroads. Probably down in this area. Oh, okay. It's probably probably means this is as the patron, so a shrine. So then it says to every road you need to take at the middle one is safe heed and look for ingrin's signs and you'll follow my designs okay so we go down there's left okay we go down the middle one and look for some signs oh i wonder oh remember there were these like rocks or something wasn't this one of them yeah these things i knew i was going to come back here for a reason i can't do anything with it okay so i need to follow the signs hang on what did it say um should you choose to go right you'll soon see someone in play at noon the drowned soul points its shadow at your goal i don't know what that means we'll just follow his rocks right <sighs> Oh, I remember there was a... Because we got a key, didn't we? Got Baltimore's key. There was a chest down here that I found that I didn't have a key for. And I bet you... Look, there's another rock. I bet you that's where I need to go. Well, let me go loot this chest and then maybe we'll look at wrapping things up for the day. There was a rock up there. Where was it at? It was all the way at the bottom, I think. Let me just... So there's a rock. Okay, we're going the right way still. And there's another rock. And... Here was loot. Go place power. No, the chest was over here, I think. Right? I'm right. Runic key. Go to the right according to Baltimore's notes. The Witcher found an Ingrin sign. He went in the directions pointed by the line. Follow Ingrin's sign. Following Ingrin's signs, Geralt found a key hidden by Baltimore. Now he needed to find the lock which fit the key. The Witcher looked at the notes and followed the second path. All right, let me look at those notes. Oh, wrong place. Notes. J. I. There we go. Go where the crossroad patron sleeps. Every road you need to take at the middle one is safe. He didn't look for ignorant signs and you'll follow my designs. Okay, we did all that. Should you go right, you'll soon see someone in plight. At noon, this drowned soul points its shadow at your goal. So... Go right according to Baltimore's notes. So maybe at the crossroads, instead of going middle, I was supposed to go right? All right, so here we are back at the crossroads, and it said to go right. And I think this is where the trolls were at. Oh, I didn't mean to bump oh, we'll pick a flower. It's fine. 
Yeah, here are the trolls. I wonder if they have anything new to share. Hello. Me busy. Leaves me peace. Okay. Kid when he sour. Kid when he shy. Okay, I, okay, it's fine. <laughs> so, I'm going right, because this is the only way to go, I think. Oof, probably going the wrong way. Okay, so I looked at the notes again, and it says, what did it say? It said, you go right, and then, should you choose to go right, you'll see someone in plight. I don't know who that was. Maybe that was a troll. I don't know. At noon, this drowned soul points its shadow at your goal. So the closest thing to drowned was the, the boat over here, right? This is the boat area. I think it is. This map is very clunky to use. But then it said to wait until noon. Or at noon, the shadow would point my goal. What is this over here? Oh, it's a door! Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> I didn't have to wait till noon at all. Oh, let's loot the place. Saber. Is this his, like, secret cellar or something like that? Well, I guess we just loot the place. Beaver cap, Baltimore's notes, Celandrine iron ore. Oh, wow, look at all those runes. I knew you were hiding something from me, Witcher. I wasn't the only one to hide something. Baltimore's notes state that the Master will return from the grave to meet with you. Nobody returned from where we sent him. You just admitted to murder. Aye, but what of it? No one beside you knows, and you'll not leave here alive. Get him, lads! Really? Really? You guys, I'm, I am a witcher. And you're not? Oh my gosh, you are actually hitting kind of hard though. There we go. I'm, we couldn't talk about this first? I, okay. <laughs> but I'm, you killed him, so I don't really feel that bad for killing you. Loot everything. Thorax key. Diagram hunter's armor. Ooh. Find a lot compatible with Thorax. Thorax key. But let's finish looting everything in here, though. Not that my Witcher thing works very well. Timber. Okay. Is that everything? Looks like it's everything. Okay, well, let's read the notes we got. Baltimore's notes. Baltimore's letter to Thorak. Thorak, if you're reading these words, it means you were finally my undoing. But know this, you son of a bitch. I will return the favor. If Even if I have to traverse all the seven hells, I will return, living or undead, to torment you. You will suffer and you will weep, but there will be no mercy. Let fear now be your constant companion, for I will have my revenge by my own hand or by that of another. Baltimore. Well, I got I got revenge for you, Baltimore. Don't worry about that. So suspect Thorak. Oh wait, let's do Baltimore's nightmare first. So it says we followed Ingrid's signs. We followed for the second path. Thorak sh shadowed Geralt the whole time. He had a guilty conscience. The letter found by the Witcher was irrefutable proof that Thorak had killed Baltimore. Our hero decided the Virgin Elder should know of this. Yeah, he should know of that. So we should do that first next time. And then I have a note here for Suspect Thorak. If, dear reader, you have not lost your way in this tangled but interesting tale of Geralt's stay in Vergen, you may remember Thorak, a dwarf who died by the witcher's hand. Geralt searched his corpse and found a key, and where this key, there is a chest. Or where the, and where there is a key, there is a chest. As it turned out, the contents of Thorak's chest was important to the investigation of Saskia's poisoning. 
Yay. Okay. Well, I will do all those things, but I will do them on, I will do them on Tuesday <laughs> um, because we are definitely in time for today and, and, and that's all I got. <laughs> so on Tuesday, we will continue with Baltimore's nightmare. We'll continue to solve this poisoning mystery and, and go from there. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Tuesday with another new Witcher 2 video.